Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we are playing um, Save Your Disastrous Fail campaign. We're still with the uh, Psionic Failed Rush campaign and uh, today we're going to focus on the ambush and getting our, um, our operatives out. That's a failed operator, uh, operations mission, a failed cover operations mission, uh, which is supposed to reduce the avatar time by one. If you have noticed, we are currently at the doom clock. We only lost 20 hours of the doom clock, so that was fine. I knew that we would make it up um, with the covered uh, covered ops, but it also tells us that very soon we need to act and attack some of the um, actual facility locations. Ooh, that's taking a while. Oh gosh, look at that. We still have the assault rifle in our hands. Yeah, they were sent before we upgraded the weapons. Oh, That's uh, unfortunate. So we need to get out, uh, out of here. Now our location, our dropout location is really, really far behind. This is pretty much going to be a clusterfuck. Can already see that. This here is an explosive container. I'm thinking about um, we might want to take the high ground over here. Oh, wonderful. There we go. That's the high ground that we want to take. The first thing that happens is we're going to see reinforcements going to come in because that happens every single mission and the reinforcements are actually the most difficult part. Looks like they called in backup. Wraith 1, your team is compromised. We're picking up advent response forces inbound on your position. So sure that's thing. too far away from just taking high ground. Them. Which means we could stand in the open, they can't shoot at us immediately. But we're greeting them with an overwatch just to increase the damage. Usually you'll fight against two to three, yeah. There we go. So that's going to be an issue. It's a very difficult fight. Luckily, we at least hit one of the shots. All right, April call for Ramirez because he will need to go in, and we're finishing off one of these guys. Come on. There we go. One down. I mean, we could go in if we stand here and take him right away. He'll just move over here and flank shot us. We can't 
kill him with a one shot. It's unfortunately not possible. This here is a pretty well protected spot. That's permanent. I don't know, I mean, six, six damage for 100% ch chance for six damage or a little bit higher chance for for just a bit more damage. I think I will go and take the explosion. Only disadvantage is that we're losing the side cover here. This is still cover. Yeah. This is actually full cover. And we need to move. So this thing is going to explode very soon. Yeah, I really don't have an idea how to not trigger his overwatch. Ready to go. So let's go with it. Yeah, I didn't get it. Okay, shit happens. Can't just stand here if uh, this thing explodes. We're going to die. a very bad spot there but he knows that the losses are coming so he's not as stupid as i thought I don't know, I don't want to go all in with a loss. It's just not a good idea. By the numbers. This guy is moving into our direction. Never a good uh, never a good uh, news. another loss right in here shit Head it there now. yeah I can't do that we're out of ammunition elsewise Probably going to take a couple of hits from the lost. Ready to engage. Target eliminated. Pass out, pacify. Neutralized. Gonna need to reload soon. On my way. Open up. 
I wanted to take the high ground for a long time. Finally it works. Reload, reload and probably some more loss will come. So the most difficult part about the mission is done. We survived the initial ambush. statement what did you expect well not much to be honest let's erase the last lost and then we're slowly but surely progressing the between the eyes um, resistance Enemy order Back this here could go pretty wrong they do have a lot of hit points from time Enemy to time down. and with conventional weapons it's not that easy we have one laser weapon but we no also problem. have one conventional weapon So we're taking high ground still. I would like to reload because we need to make sure that we watch our ammunition closely. The loss have the ability to drain your ammunition very, very well. Gotta be careful there. Very soon we're going to meet the next pack. It's usually in uh, it's usually in the middle section here. So after the fifth time of playing the ambush map, since it's always the same, we pretty much know what's going on. That is an advent. I can hear him. Not good. Try to kill a couple of these guys. That's how it's done. That's right. By the numbers. My ammo's running low. All right. Confirmed. Moving out. Kill confirmed. Rock and roll. Good. I've got eyes on an advent position. The 
Let's give ourselves eight protocol. Come on. Negative damage. Should probably should have done that beforehand. And then just finished him. Okay, so one more turn, it says an uh, a swarm of lost is drawing closer. Now it's very close. So, with regards to experience, this mission isn't too bad because I would um, level the both of these characters. I could do it even more extre uh, extreme and just sit here and basically wait and wait and wait. But I think we're not going to do that. The XP is good enough. So we're just going to kill whatever is necessary, and basically afterwards we're we're continuing and moving on. Moving on target location. Heading out. Overwatch. So I guess we got a couple more moves to go before we before we even see some more advents. There's one more, usually at the crossroads. Well, in this case, apparently not. Not a problem. Moving into full cover, flanking. Come on, hit. Very nice. On my way. Got it covered. Overwatch. Now that's the next swarm, which would appear. Usually the swarms are not a problem. Unless you have a horrible series of um, of misses. But that's seldom the case. Okay, I think one more advent and then we're good to go. I'm on the move. Absolutely. Ready to rock. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to full cover. Yeah, and as far as I'm concerned, if it's just single troopers, there's really not that much to worry about. Heading there now. Go, go! 
Okay, again, one more trooper and probably another swarm. It's very close. Might as well take the swarm before we take the trooper. Not a problem. Taking the high ground for the aim bonus. Swarm should appear now. Alright, my my virus scanner just opened. Have we killed them? Oh, they also want to be rescued. I can see. They, they camped the extraction zone. Very clever. We can see they have more hit points now, so I guess that's the soft uh, way of, um, of the game trying to tell you that you should not just camp them. Well, that's okay. Pacified. No All of them. My running low. Rolling. Sure thing. So we can move out Come get some. Scanning. as soon as next turn. That's a single hit. protocol. I think he will need it. What did you expect? Oh nice, an advanced hair trigger. Not bad. Perfect. So good. I'm out of here. It, was, it had been a while since we had a flawless mission, and 36 enemies is certainly also good because we get a nice little promotion out of it, hopefully. The mission took a while, but. I think that was important, farming it at least as much as, yeah, reasonably allowed. I'm always pleased when the troops return without any reported casualties. I can't hope for a better outcome. Nice. So we're definitely going to use so the soldier doesn't trigger any uh, overwatch fire. This is just very, very good. Phantom isn't is okay as well. I, yeah, that that was the vanilla skill uh, because the ranger was um, the scout class during this time. So,
This here isn't bad either. Assault rifles with an additional uh, weapon upgrade slot. But I'm not here to give him the perfect uh, technical advances. I'm here to save his run. Which in this case, besides recruiting a Reaper or actually getting covered actions, the most important part at the moment is to make sure that the avatar progress is being reduced. And the way I, do, I would like to do it is by... Shit, whom are we going to take on the mission? Because... Well... I guess it's Rocky again. Soldier captured high. We would need to have supplies in order to mitigate that. Okay, yeah, we're going to get supplies. Don't worry. We cannot afford to let anyone get captured. Avenger plotting new course. And we want to reduce the Avatar project further, so it's, it goes without saying that we're going to do that. So, let's go back. We are we head to the uh, to definitely continuing to reduce the avatar progress. We're negating the risk of being captured. There is still a wounded risk, that's okay. Uh, one soldier gets plus one mobility. And I think we're taking the Templar for this. Um, having more mobility on the Templar is just very, very helpful. Um, it means we can't do a full mission, but since most of... Yes, begin the action. If you look at our armory, since most of our high-level soldiers are still like out, we do have 18 days here, 2 days here, lots of uh, tired days here. So it's pretty much in line with what we're anyways trying to do. Um, I think we're going to be, uh, we're going to be just fine. Um, most of our new recruits have never worked in close quarters like the Avenger. Before the war, we might have had time. Let's get back to the intel. I think we're doing reasonably well. If we chuck off two further uh, dots from the Avatar project, we should be fine. Just wait until they hear you're working with those advent goons that broke free somehow. Hunting down civilians hiding in their homes doesn't make for much sport. But it's the only way I'm going to keep the elders on Yeah, my we back. do have one and three, which is four further bleeps, and two no from uh, from our the current covered ops. So we could almost reduce it to zero if we pull, out, uh, pull it off correctly. The facility up here has an extremely powerful and dangerous alien. This is triggering the alien ruler questline, which, believe me, we're not going to trigger now. We're, we're simply not going to trigger that. There is a scientist. Um, that's like a, an absolute gift at that uh, moment in time. Before we continue, wait a second. The month is almost over. We're shortly going to Avenger, purchase something from the black market. If I'm not mistaken, the intel should be enough to to buy the superior conditioning. Yeah, this here is really good. That's three hit points. And if you are behind on, um, if you're behind in your armor, I mean, advanced perception is, yeah, we'll probably leave him with advanced perception. If you're behind with your hit points, um, giving someone extra health is really, really helpful. Was she the one with the absolute nice abilities? No, I think she wasn't. Shifter here was the one uh, with the nice abilities. 8 health, okay. 
So which probably means we're going to give it to either Prophet or Rocky, whoever has less hit points. I think Prophet has less hit points. Um, and could, yeah, probably could use it. Anyways, the moral of the story is um, superior conditioning. You can definitely invest into it. It's Avengers worth for 45 um, intel any day of the week. And this is another 101 intel mission plus an engineer which is going to be our next uh, episode. If we can pull this off, I think we're on a very, very good track to stabilizing the campaign. Um, just from, from the logistics of it, I think I'm going to do this, maybe one or two more missions afterwards and probably assaulting this facility here to get the Avatar project really low and having a having a strong fundament to play with for West so Africa. yeah that's it for today thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next campaign bye bye